Hey people, um, of Israel, from the Defense Radio. I heard doing so about Estonian e-voting, and um, I have quite strong feelings about it. In fact, I have in here. I can show you a little bit how it, how it works. I can show you then how it's how it works. Where is my up 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 um, so basically I will put it in more in here. Um, so I had this experience. So basically, in Estonia, you just go to this main portal where you have your banks and everything. Then you can choose. I will see if I have an English version in here. Here. So, for example, if you get pregnant in outside of Estonia, you just choose uh, uh, family, pregnancy and childhood, if the child is born abroad. And uh, there will be all the information you need on, 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 on that link in there. So, it's it's quite quite good. But I think you can talk and so the so at the same time. So basically system is all good. It's called uh, XXT. But the only problem is, for some reason, everything is good to put in here. From um, military service to, to healthcare information, anything you can imagine. But uh, for some reason, who you voting for is not in here. So, I was thinking would be good, would be good to step uh, forward uh, to upgrade this democratic uh, system what is based on uh, doubt and privacy uh, more in the direction that uh, you will not be need to sh be afraid and ashamed uh, who you who you voting for because why why would anyone uh, why, why, why would anyone need to be hi hiding who they who they voting for it doesn't make sense so our current electronic system they say uh, might be hacked or might be this and might be that someone might change something and uh, even though it's <laughs> quite uh, safe many 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 ways but the only thing thing but uh, makes it uh, vulnerable is uh, gossip about uh, what we don't know and so to be in line with the, with the Western democracy, Estonia also implemented this privacy box in there, so government cannot see who you're voting for. 
mm, they can be 100 percent uh, sure that it's all safe and uh, extremely extremely safe but uh, same time that government cannot access and see who who you are like literally <laughs> it took quite a bit of work to make it uh, make it work like that so I would actually remove that part from this system and uh, make it the same uh, portal what you what I just saw uh, all accessible from there for, for yourself so you see your vote who you're voting for what is the back background information and uh, integrate this, uh, this uh, all of this uh, important services into one mm. and so when anyone start to gossip about uh, uh, security then uh, we have easy way to recount it <laughs> everyone can can see their own vote uh, it will be uh, might, might sound likely any anyone start to uh, think thinking about it uh, it 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 will be faked once you everyone have their votes connected with their own identity as it should be I'm not quite sure uh, how it has been in the past in all other cultures around the world uh, who are being advanced in somewhat levels uh, but I, I think uh, mostly people was not shamed and hiding and secretly voting for most important things they was most likely saying I will vote for that reason for that person I want everyone to know because I want you to know vote for this person because because the reasons I voting for the person <laughs> you know so that will be making that will be make voting 100% trustable and entire governing of country in basically corruption free related to that part because right now uh, it's really iffy you know if you go in this box I'm not sure how it's in all other countries uh, but it's quite similar most likely that uh, someone puts some vote in somewhere and uh, in our country it's really simplistic right now you just put something on the papers uh, three, three, three digit number related to the uh, person who even not the person name you don't need to know just a number and uh, you just go in this box vote it and to drop the box in vote into the box uh, it's uh, only thing they will check is your ID physically just wrote it on the paper so <laughs> it's actually I had this good experience once I I, I, I saw, sent letter to the government officials on that moment when I did not have any kind of IT passport or ID card like you know this uh, just goes inside the computer in here and uh, that's all you need yeah so I did not have that or anything and um, I wrote border guard and police and just let them send me confirmation letter official one about it so they send me and uh, and the forward just uh, letter later to the commission of voting board and, and back to the police after I was going to voting without a document according to the papers you know uh, what the border guard and police send me that I did not have no document registered in Estonia so after I was finishing voting on the paper uh, version um, I uh, wrote, wrote them and asked that uh, uh, let them figure out how did I do it yeah so but those kind of things uh, when every every vote will be registered electronically you know it will be much more safer much more safer 
it's uh, it is all the votes you you will the one who voting controls the vote they can print out the receipt and then now I vote for that person for that reason so that's I am not <clears throat> I think if I want to say something more but it's kind of thinking that I I will leave it for the for the another time. But yeah.